This is Discover 4, Unit 11 and 12, Speaking Test. Hello there. Hello, teacher. Can you introduce yourself for me, please? Well, my name is Chen Tu. I'm from class Discover 4, H, and I'm 12 years old. And I have a very hobby is fishing, and I use... Can you turn that down just a little bit? Sorry, buddy. Yeah, carry on. And I usually sleep at 8, 8 p.m. 8 p.m. You usually go to bed very early. Yeah. Okay. Why do you go to bed early? I go to bed early to keep me healthy every day. And if I know that if I keep me healthy, I will live longer and I will feel strong, strong every day. Okay. Good. Excellent stuff. Um, what do um, where do you go fishing? Well, I usually go fishing in my free time, and I fishing about two hours. A to our every time. Where do you go? Where do you go fishing? I go fishing in the near pond in near in the pond in my house or to go I go to the lake, the far lake that we have more fish and I want to fish in that. Excellent. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about the, the human body. First of all we're gonna start with viruses. What what do you know about viruses? Viruses are a very small kind of Very small things, and mm -hmm. we viruses have two kind of viruses: is bad viruses and good viruses. The bad viruses are much more kind of good viruses, and your bad viruses can make you feel feel weak or make you have disease like flu, fever, or common cold. What are some different viruses that you might know of? Well, uh, the, the first kind of viruses that I know is the influenza viruses. Uh, the influenza viruses is also known as a flu. It can make you feel very tired. Your head will be very hot when you have this in, when you have these viruses, and to keep um, to keep you away from this viruses you should do the very really first is you you just give to protect you from the virus okay let's stop the brains there just for a second you're absolutely right you're not wrong by when you stretch your imagination but you you're absolutely right you've been talking about like viruses are very small things they're smaller than bacteria right um and you've told me that influenza is absolutely a different a, a type of virus. We're going to move on to this bit. So let's. I'm sorry, that microphone's really loud up there. Okay, so let's talk about influenza. Let's say me and you are in a cafe, and I go into the cafe and I have influenza. What? What? How are you going to know that I have influenza? Well, I know you have influenza that you will feel, you will cough a lot, mm -hmm. but you sneeze out a lot too, and you had a cough. Hot head and you feel tired and you look tired. Right, so I have influenza, I walk into the cafe. What can you do to protect yourself from catching influenza from me? Well, you should do the you should do the healthy habits like drink two liters every day, doing exercise about thirty minutes or playing sport, uh, eating healthy food and if five different kind of food every day. You're absolutely right, but that's not gonna help you at the cafe, right? So I walk in, I have influenza. What can you do there and then to make sure that you don't get influenza? Your body will, your body will protect you from the influenza virus. Mm -hmm. First, your first kind of protect is your skin. When your virus is on your skin, it will to it will attack the cells, but the cells in in your skin is all the dead cells. Next, you next in the influenza viruses, you will cut out and you will breathe the air that have viruses in. And the second thing will protect you is your nose hair. Next, if your nose hair didn't stop the viruses, you will. You sneeze out and you will swallow the, swallow the mucus that has the viruses 
as if you if the stomach didn't swallow it, the next your your stomach egg will use an acid to kill it. But if your acid did kill it, next the blood cells will the white blood in your body will attack the viruses. You're absolutely right. What kind of blood cells? Well, the white blood cell. That's correct. Well done. Excellent stuff. You're absolutely right. You've been talking about this bit in great detail. In terms of this one, what we can do is we can make sure we wash our hands. We wash our hands 30 seconds with soap and water. Yeah. We can make sure we cover our mouth and our, our, our eyes. We don't touch our face, that kind of thing. But you're absolutely right. Okay, so let's talk about these different parts of the body. What's number one? The so number one is the nose. Good, number, the, two. number two is the trachea. The number three is the lungs. And the number four is the diaphragm. Good, excellent stuff. Okay, so now let's talk about the circulatory system. What's number one? The number one is the veins, the, the kind of tube, the, the, big, the second biggest tube in your body is that we take the carbon dioxide out of your body. You're absolutely right. What's the, number two? The neck is the artery. The, the biggest tubes in your body that will make take oxygen to, to all of your cells. Good. What's number three? The number three, the number three is the blood. Is no, is the heart. It will pump the, it will pump the oxygen to all of your cells in your body. Good. And number four? And number five, the capillaries. It will. Okay. So you're absolutely right. Now, knowing what you know about the respiratory system and what you know about the circulatory system, I want you to tell me how do they work together. Try and give as much detail as you can. Okay. First, the respiratory system and the circulatory system are the two systems that hand in hand. If one don't work, you the body don't work, and you will die. First, to these two systems work together. First, the diaphragm make your lungs. Expand, mm -hmm. then your lung ex inhales the air in, then the, the arteries will take the oxygen to all of your, to all your cells, mm -hmm. to, to your heart. And your heart will pump and the oxygen will go to everywhere, every cell in your body, then your cells. I'm going to stop you there just for a second. You're absolutely right. The breathing, the oxygen, the air goes into our lungs. And then you're right that the oxygen goes into our blood and it goes to our heart. How does it get from our lungs into our heart? Well, they, they go through the capillaries to your heart and Good. go to the left, mm -hmm. to the side. Okay. Then, so then the cell will use the oxygen and then they will make the oxygen, an oxygenated blood. Yeah. And it will make carbon dioxide. Then the carbon dioxide will go to the to the right of the heart and go through the veins, go through the capillaries and go back to your lungs and you will exhale the carbon dioxide out. That's correct, well done. Now, quick question, from the heart to the rest of your body, what does the oxygenated blood pump through? What, the, what are the tubes called that it goes through? They go through the veins. That's back to the heart. Okay. From the heart to the rest of your body, what does that go through? They go through the artery. That's correct. Well done. Yes. Very good. Okay. So, in your opinion, do you think you live a healthy lifestyle? In my opinion, I think we live a healthy life because healthy life make we live longer, mm -hmm. make we stronger every day, make up our body in shape, and keep our keep we from any kind of disease. You're absolutely right. But do you live a healthy life? Yeah, I live, I live a healthy life. Every day I drink about two liter, two liter of water. Mm -hmm. I do exercise 30 minutes every day and I always sleep soon. How long do you sleep for a day? Well, I sleep about seven to seven and a half hours a day. That's a good amount of sleep. Well done. Okay, so what do you've already talked about this in a little bit of detail already? What do people? What do you think that people need to do to stay healthy? Well, I think people need to do doing exercise at least thirty minutes every day, mm -hmm. washing their hand at least thirty seconds every day, eating healthy food like eating five five different fruit fruits mm -hmm. every day. 
Mm. Avoid eating junk food uh, and don't do any bad habit like sleep at 12 p.m., mm. drinking a lot of soft drinks, and eating yeah. many kind many kind of bad food and don't know where what they were made. Okay, two, thank you very much, and that concludes the video test. Well done.